time ago, roughly 500 years, a pact between man, gnomes, and dwarves was created within a small town called Phandalin. This pact was known as the Fendelva Pact. The pact allowed all three races to share in mineral and precious metal rights of a cave known as Wave Echo Cave. The town and races nearby flourished with this agreement. The cave itself harnessed a power unlike any other and spellcasters from various races were able to harness this power to create a great forge known as the Forge of Spells. This forge possessed the ability to craft magical items and the town became more popular than ever. But with popularity comes trouble, and disaster struck the town of Phandalin and Wave Echo Cave. A group of furious orcs swept through the area, and evil mercenary wizards aided them in order to claim Wave Echo Cave. Much was lost and none was gained. The area remained in ruin for centuries, uninhabited, except by those who wished to seek shelter amongst the ruins of Thandalin. History became rumor. Rumor became a legend, and a legend became a myth. Many sought to seek the lost cave known as Wave Echo Cave in hopes that the rumor was true. All have failed. But hope remains with an individual known as Gundren Rockseeker, a boisterous dwarf who believes he has found the cave. He has hired three unlikely adventurers to aid him in finding and reclaiming the cave in hopes of re-establishing the Fandelva Pact. Join me on the ethereal plane in the year 1491 as we follow these three individuals in witness without intervening their choices. We will be able to see if they are able to achieve what Gundren wishes, if they will fall in their endeavor, or will they have other means? Much like time. All we can do is watch. The choice remains theirs, and the future will be crafted based upon those choices. A long time ago, roughly 500 years, a pact between man, gnomes, and dwarves was created within a small town called Phandalin. <laughs> Hi, right, welcome everyone back to Autosave. Uh, Before Entering presents episode five of The Lost Minds of Phandelver. We last left our party. Uh, they found out about a group of bugbears that were off at this place called uh, Wyvern Tor, or Wyvern Tor, still have yet to figure out how to actually pronounce that, but I guess to each his own. Uh, but they were talking to the town's master, Harbin, 
and did some digging. Harbin seemed to be very worried about these bugbears located out towards the east at this location and had sweat pouring off of his uh, forehead. After some digging in to his true intentions of what was going on, they found out that his stepdaughter, Ophelia, was actually taken by the bugbears and sent a ransom note for 10,000 gold that he did not possess. The adventurers, after scolding the town master on not telling them the truth, decided to set out towards Wavering Tor in order to confront the bugbears. Uh, with the help of Barthen's provisions, they got some horses and uh, fast traveled out there, cutting the day and a half travel into one day only. They found the cave in which the bugbears were at and decided to engage in combat. While they did that, they did not know that the bugbears had a pet with them, an ogre, in which they confronted and fought very valiantly and ended up dispatching the bugbears and the ogre. But they heard a scream in the cavern. And that is where we left off. First, let me introduce everyone once again. Uh, Hordal. Hordal. How's it going, everyone? We have the Watcher. Stars are bright tonight. <laughs> and we have Arthas. Hello. Hello. All right. Hello. So once again, you heard the scream of a girl echo throughout the cavern. I'm not going to do the scream again. I'm pretty sure it was awful the first time I did it. So <laughs> 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 what do you do? Uh Hordal starts running over this ogre to the first uh, entranceway that he sees. Okay. Hordal. No issues uh, maneuvering on over. What you see as this cavern opens up, you see up towards the left seems to be uh, a dead end. It does have a bed there. As you look down towards the south, there is another cavern way that goes around and you see one more was i saying i was yeah, saying you, bugbears you were... they're it's, orcs it's ladies orcs. and gentlemen they're <laughs> orcs thank you i'm sitting here and i'm like wait a second i just jacked that up they're orcs it's been a long day for me <laughs> just bear with me. bear with me you see an orc off uh, to the east here that has of what appears to be a girl by the hand. Uh, and you can see can, that she is struggling. I can see him? Yes, you can. I am throwing a hand axe. Oh, wow. Hang on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, It'll 35, be, 40. Should be a disadvantage. 45, 50, 55, 60. How how? <laughs> How far can your uh, 60 is my disadvantage length? 60 is your max with disadvantage. Yep. OK. And I will make it reckless. So it'll just be a straight roll. Straight roll. Whew. Oh, no. I rolled oh, a God. nat one. Oh, Jesus. Nat <laughs> one. OK. You go to throw this hand axe and as you let loose the hand axe over 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 goes flying ends up hitting this wall and you hear the wall that you ne the sound that you never want to hear from a hatchet you hear this kush, a nice little kush, and you know that sound all too well mm-hmm your the metal the right. and the hand axe has just snapped up against the wall. We're all yells back axe. to the other two. To the right. <clears throat> that hand axe goes, is useless. And then it goes fuck. Okay. Uh Arthas. Seeing Horal do that and hearing him yell, I will just sprint up towards him. Okay. So and as I'm sprinting 10, 15, yeah. 20, 25, 30. I, yeah, I got 30. So I'm assuming, do I have line of vision also or no? Yes. Right, okay. 
So as I'm running up, I'm like, Hordo, it looks like you need a little bit of help. And as I see the, the guy, I'm going to go, all right. And I'm just going to hit him with the fireball. Okay, go ahead and roll. Uh, what do I get? So that is 14 to hit. 14 to hit? 14 is a hit. Oh, nice. And my... That's not my D10. This is... Pew, pew. And that is a two. Two. Two points of damage. <laughs> let's let's hear it. Pew, pew. <laughs> okay. The bolt of fire... Your fire just hits on me. Argh. All right. We have the Watcher. Yeah, he's going to try to get up with everybody else, but I'm not sure. He's gonna 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now your line of sight is unfortunately blocked here, Watcher. Um, you can take your action to do more movement if you would like. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so Watcher just saw Hordal and Arthas attack. He is, yeah, I'll take the action to get forward um, and see, like, get line of sight. Okay, which way would you like to go? Up towards the north or down towards the south here? Um, you know that the fireball was sent what, that way. Yeah, he's going to go up north. He wants to see. All right, so okay. let's count it out. So that's another 5, 10, 15, 20... Uh, you can go like 25, 30. Or do you want to get in the way? Oh, he'll get in the way. He wants to see what's being attacked. See if he can help. <laughs> Typical watcher. Okay. Yeah. That's uh the 30 feet of movement. And... Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Don't roll anything yet. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Bonus action? Uh, I still have a bonus action. Yep, okay. So, Watcher is all of a sudden, with a flash of light, is going to... You're going to see little, like, pinpoints of light at his joints and his elbows just flare. And uh, a bow is going to materialize in his hand. And he is going to uh, loose an arrow at um, orc number six, uh, Celestial Arrow. Okay, you hear a familiar voice, uh, and you know it to be Lucidian. He's like, I am here. Go ahead. That is going to be... It's like the tension. <laughs> I'm, figure out the, I'm just trying to figure out the bonus that I add to that. That is going to be... I think it's spell attack. Or... Spell attack, I believe. Is what you guys said. Yeah, okay, so 16 to hit. Oh, 16 is a hit. And that's going to do... Uh, 6 plus 3 is 9 damage. 9 damage. Oh, hi. With that... The bolt comes flying out and hits him. You notice that the orc, not bugbear, <laughs> that was holding on to this girl, he like she somehow gets loose, and you can see that the orc was uh, scrambling to maintain. She runs off down towards the south. Uh, he turns because it's his turn now. He quickly grabs a bow and notches an arrow and takes a shot at you, Watcher. Uh, this is just going to be... This could miss. This is a 16 to hit. Uh, that misses. All right. Armor class 16? Armor class of 18 now. With 18. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, poof. Not even in the shield. Just over. Good job, okay. Watcher. You can, <laughs> he just gets ready to uh, notch another arrow. Oh, uh, Hordal. Uh, the Hordall man in the back. Sprinting 
his full 25 feet. Five. Uh, probably be up next to Watcher-ish. 10, 15, 20, 25, just one off. Are you using one your off. action to go? Uh, no. Is he within 30 feet of me now? Uh, 5, 10, 15, no, not yet. 20, Damn. 20, no. Damn. Okay. That was all 25, 5, 10, but yeah. Yeah. Damn. All right. I'm um, going to take another uh, hand axe out, slide <laughs> okay. the next one out, and just chuck it. I think I accidentally gave you 30 on the first one, forgetting that you're a dwarf. That's okay. Um, we'll just say it was a diagonal. Uh, I'm going to make it reckless. Okay. Ooh, natural 20. Natural 20. <laughs> Rolling the extremes 20. today. Oh! I got it at 20 and a 4. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So natural twenty. Nice. So that would be. Doo -doo -doo. So that's max damage plus your die roll. So six plus five, which is eleven, plus three, so fourteen. Uh. Don't forget your rage. Oh crap! We could have played your rage too. Oh no! Forgot I still. Yeah, you're right. I do have my rage. Too. You that's still why have I'm your attacking. rage. Yeah. So add two more, so that's sixteen. Yep, completely forgot about that. How would you like yep. to kill this orc? Oh, just hand axe right over the top of Watcher, and it's just slow, slow moving, slow moving, <laughs> straight between the eyes. Uh -huh. As the orc notches his other arrow, just slowly looks up, and you can quickly see his face that's like... <laughs> right into the skull. He is down for the count. Well <laughs> done. Bet you he's got a splitting headache now. <laughs> Hordall probably has a son out there somewhere because that's a dad oh, joke. He, yeah, he, he thinks it. <laughs> Hordall thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Uh, for this case, combat has ended. You just. <laughs> he, last you saw was this girl sprinting and she she comes out around this side uh what you see before you is roughly a 12 year old girl a human she's wearing a pink dress and she has long blonde hair and she she just looks up at you terrified please don't hurt me Felia. you know my name we're here for your father you're here for my... My dad isn't here. No, we're here to bring you home. We came to rescue oh. you. Oh. Well, I mean, they, they were treating me relatively nice. Orcs? Nice? Yeah. That doesn't seem right. Well, they... They helped save me, too, from a, um... A, a, a green lizard flying thing. Like, with wings? Yeah, with wings. Like one of those big things that you read about in the books. Dragon? Like a dragon? Yeah, a dragon. That's the name of them. A dragon. A green, a green one? Yeah. Where? It was off to the east. Brugger Axe Spider, and she just points and she's like, oh, no, is he hurt? And she starts running <laughs> over to him. Oh, no, is he OK? No, nah, he's dead. Dead? What happened? Here. Did you did you kill him? He, he attacked us, so we attacked back to save you. You're welcome. But he saved me. And we saved you. You guys are mean. <laughs> she just starts crying. Portal just Our looks to watch her and just goes. Ophelia, why did you not? If, if these creatures saved you, why did you not ask them to take you home? Well, uh, Brugger or Axe Spider wanted me to help him write a letter. So... I helped him write a letter back to my dad. What did the letter say? 
Well, he told me to help him write specific words. Um, he wanted to learn how to write money, um, numbers, in common. So I helped so him. So he was, you helped him write your own ransom letter. What's a ransom? They were going to give you back to him for money. For, oh, my, my dad could have easily paid that. Not the number you wrote. Well, I didn't write it. I just taught him how to write numbers. Mm. <sighs> Stupid orcs. Well, they're not using this stuff anymore. Let's take what we can, get the little one back. Okay, well, I, I suggest you hurry, though, because there was a party that left of roughly four orcs earlier. They Ooh, haven't come back yet. Ooh, that sounds like more fun. Hey, I'll go stand watch then. You two, check around. See if there's chests, crates, whatever. I'll go watch the front door. It'd be the welcoming party. <laughs> and he has the light just burst onto one of the beds before his okay. rage ends. <laughs> uh, with that being said, then, your... Um, yeah, your rage is gone. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm a little just, slow I'm tonight, to guys. I'm a little slow tonight. I don't no, know you're what good, it is. You're good. I haven't had enough Left. caffeine. So, Hordal, where would you like to position yourself, roughly? You want to go over uh, by this orc right here? Uh, Hordal's going to be right behind the uh, boulder here. Okay. And then I just need an investigation or perception check uh, from... Could either be one of you, Watcher, or Arthas, or could be one with advantage. Or it could be one with advantage or both of you roll. I'm way off my game tonight. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All good. Got to get back in the motions. Why don't you just cease roll, Watcher? Uh, yeah, I think Watcher would help by himself. I don't think he would ask for help. Or, uh, okay, so yeah. Arthas so, so and Arthas. Watcher, go ahead and uh, make some rolls. Arthas rolls a 15. Oh. 15. Oh, that's an 8. 15 and an 8. Okay. Wait, what did you say? You said investigation or what? Perception. Uh, let me see my... Uh, same. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Arthas, as you go around, you're searching some of the chests. Uh, you find within uh, the chest some of the sleeping systems. Everything seems relatively loose around here. There are a couple of weapons hanging about. Um, they are of orgish make, which means they're decorated a lot with, like, skulls and stuff like that. Um, crudely made, a little bit better than goblins and a little bit bigger. There's, like, great axes with, like, skulls as the centerpiece uh, and stuff like that. Um, but you find, in terms of monetary value, you find uh, 20 silver pieces and 17 gold pieces. And then a Watcher, as you so, go sorry, about... 20... 20 silver and how much gold? 20 sorry. silver and 17 gold pieces. 17, okay. And then, Watcher, as you're going about, you see relatively the same stuff. You know, uh, most of the orcs around here had great axes, except the ones with the bows. There was a total of, uh, what is that, two two with the bows and then three great axes uh, amongst the, the whole lot. Um, you notice that most of the provisions around here not really the best there's like some fish that aren't like fully salted but they were dried and there are flies like all about them um you do find some scraps of some mysterious meat that obviously you you've never cared too much for food anyway <laughs> but you know that the food is probably spoiled in some former manner um but i with don't know yours, if you know that I, I don't think watcher would know that the that that's world he'd probably know their rations but he'd probably try to collect it for for uh his, his party perfect like, oh rations that will be helpful for them okay so you scoop up uh some of the rotted meat uh, but you do find 10 gold pieces and two silver pieces amongst the lot as you go um <laughs> uh, and this individual here that ophelia stated was a Bruger axe spider. He's got a medallion, and the medallion is made out of silver, 
but you notice there's there's like one arrow pointing down and then there's a whole bunch of arrows that go like all over it like almost kind of like a, a compass but with all these arrows like all over it go ahead and roll uh, a history check for me watcher and you can roll with advantage either nine or a natural 20. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Watcher, you recognize this instantly. You've heard stories about some orc tribes and this just like, just senses right off the bat. This is a sigil for an orc tribe known as the Many Arrows tribe. And you do know that they are further out towards the east. And it seems a little weird for them to be over here. But putting two and two together with Ophelia potentially talking about a dragon, uh, it, you know, you, you wouldn't be surprised if they were chased or something. Okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll take them down. You know. Okay. Uh, Hordal. Perception mm -hmm. check. Ooh. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Perception. Uh, nine. Nine? Okay. So you're, you're sitting there just watching the entrance. Everything seems relatively calm out there. Make sure you cross off one hand axe, too. I know you're probably going to buy another one, but... Oh, yeah. That one broke. And I, bro and I broke the other one. Well, yep. yeah, I, I crossed off the broken one, and I didn't go get the other one, so. Gotcha. Well, delete. Ah, yeah. uh, you, you can pick up that other one. No no <laughs> worries. The broken one, though, is gone. Oh, cool. Right. <laughs> okay. Watch your Arthas. You can see that Ophelia is still kind of crying over there. Uh, Arthas kind of walks over to her, and it's just like, they're there, little girl. They're there. Just stick with us. We'll get we'll get you to your stepdad. I thought they were my friends. Yeah, they weren't. Yeah. They they weren't. Okay. We're well, your Walker friends now. Will see that and, and didn't want to help, so in his very mechanical voice, he'll he'll pretty much just repeat verbatim what Arthas is saying to her, like trying to. He, he's trusting that he Arthas knows what he's doing, so he's trying to comfort her as well. So he's literally just repeating the cold mechanical. Voice. And uh, Arthas, you get the sense of, obviously, she's of someone important. She's a little naive and, you know, she doesn't quite understand the situation in which she was yeah. placed. Um, but it, it, it does it does feel as if the orcs, you know, kind of use that to their advantage in some form or fashion. I mean, the story that she's telling is true, but... It doesn't look like she was beaten. Doesn't look no. like she wasn't taken care of. I mean, her her pink dress looks pretty darn like pristine. So it looks like they actually took care of her in their charge. Yeah, because they wanted to. They wanted that reward, well, that ransom. All right. Well, are we All gonna right. go home now? Yeah. Follow us. We'll, we'll just start walk I'll start walking out um, with Ophelia and just be like Hordal we good to come uh, Hordal roll another perception check uh, that one's a little better uh, 16 total okay Hordal you take one more look over the uh, the boulder and you don't see anything Ah. I ain't seen shit. Let's go. All, All right. right. Well, let's go. Come on, Ophelia. Uh, order? Uh, Ordo would go up front, I think, just waiting. Okay. I think I'll, Arthas would kind of walk in the middle with Ophelia by his oh. side. Yeah, Watcher would be real close to Ophelia as well. Okay. Wanted to, to shield her. For it all, as soon as you step out, you realize an error in your ways. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. My rolls were that just better. My rolls yeah. were just better. It makes Five. sense. 
You see along also, the Roger's side. Also, Roger's up like a Christmas tree, so <laughs> like he's like like broadcasting like where he's moving. You see <laughs> along the side. Right, as soon as you step out, hidden almost like in the shade and where you didn't quite look with the rock, right? You see that there is one orc. They're all hugging this wall, right? And you realize the dead body of the orc in front probably alerted them to something going on, right? And as you see it and look up, what do you say? Ah! And goes into a rate. As you... Uh, I, I will say that you have to get hit first because one has an arrow pointed at you. No, that's fair. Okay, so the rage doesn't quite work yet. Uh, yep. That is going to be a 14. Uh, sorry, not a 14. A 18. 18 to hit. hits. Yep. Okay. Sorry. Matt. No, don't it's, apologize. It's not my friend right now. All right, that is going to be five points of piercing damage as the arrow uh, goes into you. Now I need... I need everyone to roll initiative. You guys see Hordal get hit with this arrow. Thirteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Uh, 12, 14. portal, 14, all right. Okay, continue, give me a second here. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Mm -hmm. Start this, portal, and then Two, four. Okay. Portal, as this arrow slams into you, this other orc starts com coming right on up with his great axe. That's five, 10, 15, 20. Comes right in front of you and lets out an orc Roar! with my sweaty pits that I just showed the world. Uh, I rolled a two, which is going to be a seven to hit. That is oh. a wh whiffs. Boom. <laughs> As he looks up at you with his toothy mouth. Uh, Watcher, your go. Can can he see over that rock to see that there's like four? You can four. see, you know, there was an arrow shot, right? From your position right now, there was an arrow shot over at Hordal, and you just see another orc come up with an axe. You can assume right now that there's two. If you move, you'll probably, you'll definitely be able to see all four. You can, you can also assume there's four because Ophelia told us a group of four left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. That is true. Uh, okay. He is going to cast bless. Okay. Ooh. Um. So, Watcher blesses up to three creatures of his choice within range or just 30 feet so that should be the party whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends the target can roll a d4 and add that number roll to the attack roll or to the saving throw okay who are you casting should be um you i mean all... i've got three people so yep. I, I guess you... i do it on all three you can even cast on you, need to make you can cast work. on yourself i think mm-hmm Oh, uh, yeah. okay, then yeah, it'll be the three of us. Yeah, Ophelia is probably not going to help in combat. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking saving throws only, but I didn't realize I could do it on myself. Yeah, so. Although, uh, who knows? The Watcher may be then... like, here's the sword. Go fight. <laughs> 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 okay, so all of you uh, can roll a d4 now for uh, saving throws and uh, attacks. attack rolls. So just keep that in mind, okay, guys? Mm -hmm. Just one time, right? Um, uh, no, no it's, it's every for, for, for a minute. For yeah. a minute, right? Oh, okay. And it's every yeah. every attack roll, right? Yep. Yep. Unless he loses concentration. Correct. Yeah. So okay. he is going to then shoot an arrow at number one. Okay. 
I am going to give you a yellow circle just for concentration, okay? If you ever get hit, remind me that we need to do a constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, even with bless, that is 10. Even with bless, that's a 10 to hit. 10 is a miss. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's the end of Watcher's turn. Okay. Bless is a bonus action? Bless is an action, but my arrow is a bonus action. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Forgot about your other arrow. Okay. Got you. Uh, and stay in there. Oh, so... Yeah. And and so Watcher will... Um, his eyes will turn off for a second as he starts chanting words to cast Bless. And a, a few words will come out. And it's not Druidic. It's, um, it, it's actually a different language. Um, it probably sounds a little militaristic as he's starting to, like say things to the, the party, but uh, then his eyes snap back on, and then he shoots the arrow. Gotcha. And you guys feel this weird energy. It's almost like drinking a cup of coffee. You, you feel like, all right, let's go. <laughs> ah. Okay. And does bless, bless? Does anyone get to, do you get to use your other? Does bless take a spell slot? Yeah. So you could technically. Can't you still do the command thing or no? I'm trying to remind um, you, like, if you use the spell slot, you can have a player or a player can choose to use their reaction to attack a player that you choose. Yes, if I heal them. Yeah. Oh, only, only healing. one healing. Okay. Only one healing? Only when I heal. Okay. Yeah. okay. I apologize. I read that incorrectly. <laughs> Okay. I got Portal really excited was, for a second. Was I got real. I was like, ooh. <laughs> I was about to say. I thought it was with any spell, so I was like, oh, jeez. Okay. Fair enough. Now we go, uh, Arthas. You are up, uh, Portal. You are on deck. All right. Arthas is like, ooh. I feel a little tingly now. Watcher, stay with the girl, and I'll run up, kind of behind Portal. Okay, so that's going to be 5, 10, 15 feet of movement. Yeah, kind of, yeah, right there. Now, do, I know I can see one. Can I see um, down the hallway also? Yeah, you can see the other ones down there. They're definitely making noise, but because of okay. one's positioning and you're trying to do a range, they're a little bit more covered. Okay. Well, I am going to attack number one with Chromatic Orb. Okay. And to hit, uh, I get the d4, so that's 19 to hit. Ooh, 19 is a hit. Tell us what you do. What do you pull out? What do you say? So, uh, I am what? taking my, di the, my diamond out of my pocket, and I'm just rubbing it around in my hands, and I just <laughs> just kind of shoot a fireball. Fireball? -ish. Yeah, because it's, it's going to be fire damage. Gotcha. Um, uh, at them, and I'm just as I'm doing it, I'm yelling to Hordal, "Get out of the way!" Hordal just turns, and the fire goes through his antlers into the orc's face. <laughs> so, I love yeah. it. <laughs> so three. So when I when I launch it, I think almost like um, like Street Fighter. Remember when they would shoot the 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 balls of energy? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that, I'll tell you total. Uh, or at a time. Uh, chromatic orbs one. Oh yeah, cool. tell me all oh, of it. Three, add it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Three, tell, tell me all of it. Add it up. Uh, so that's twenty points of damage. Twenty points of damage. Yeah, I, right. I rolled two eights and a four. Arthas, nice. Much like your pyromaniac fashion, you just love burning everything. <laughs> this orc in front just poof, singed. Portal, you can smell the burning hair off of this orc that just went flying. No. Uh, Did he die? Yeah, he's dead. Do I have a clear view of somebody else? Oh, uh, yeah. Now, with I'm him gone, go, you can see three, two, and continue, four. Let's continue the fun and use meta magic and use twinning spell. Okay. And uh, target. No. Okay, so you're using twinning spell? Yep. Because you, because okay. the chromatic herb isn't like scorching right, it can't target yep. multiple people. Yep. So, 
I am going to attack whoever's next. Is that number three? Yep. So let me mark off my sorcery point before I forget. And same thing. Okay. And oh, this is going to be good. So, and to hit is plus six, so it's 25 to hit. That's a hit. That is a hit. And let's see. Oh, this guy's going to stand no chance here. <laughs> oh. 10 damage. Oh, 10 points of damage? Never mind. Yeah, not that. I, I rolled low. Okay, the fire ball literally goes flying into him. It hurt. It hurts him. It hurts him, but he is still up. All right, cross off uh, one more meta, uh, meta magic or sorcery yep. point. Yeah, it's my last one right now. Okay, but I could still get more. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. So is that it? End of turn. Yep. That's, that's okay. That's it. End of turn. Board all. Here uh, we go. Portal first smacks Arthas in the ass real quick, just getting the butt tap. Like, good job! And then goes, ah! It <laughs> breaks the bolt off, breaks the arrow off that was in him. Love it. It goes into a rage. Okay, let's roll. So, four. So, magic infuses one weapon of my choice that I am holding. Until my rage ends, the weapon's damage type changes to force. It gains the light and throne properties with normal range of 20 feet and a long range of 60. If the weapon leaves my hand, it reappears in my hand at the end of my turn. Nice. So basically, Celeste you... just became Thor's hammer. And what? A, how, what how does Hordal feel with this weird <laughs> magic just all of a sudden going through? He's just kind of tweaking. You kind of see Hordal's like, hair stay, like his beard hair stand on end a little bit and you just see like all this like aura of magic and then you just see Celeste start glowing and in then Ho he freaking runs in Hordal this all seems weird but you know mm -hmm. you know what what happened and in your mm -hmm. rage you just go oh yeah so 25 feet yes straight forward get me yeah, so five, right up to number three. 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep. Yep. And I'm not even going to use my throne property, but I am going to swing. Okay. Uh, reckless. Reckless at number three. 13 plus my D4. So 15 plus my. Rage. Uh, doo -doo -doo plus Celeste. So to hit, that's going to be, oh goodness math uh dirty 20 yeah it's a hit it's a hit it's a yeah hit. all right so it's gonna be d8 plus three plus rage and the weapon damage is now force, force. yeah instead of piercing so uh that's a six plus three nine plus two is eleven yep he is donezo boom and we're all just screams like ah! right in front of the other two okay and that well, ends my turn <laughs> with that scream the other orcs just kind of look at each other Rawr! they scream back and <laughs> number two comes running up to you you did reckless so mm -hmm. they get to attack with advantage correct uh, and here comes uh, 21 to hit with orc number two. That hits. I think this is the first time that one of their uh, great axes actually connected. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's 11 slash and damage. So half so. goes to you. So it's five on him. And his great axe just slams into you. Uh, number four comes running up right here and he's coming towards the side with his great axe he takes a swing still with advantage because mm -hmm. you did reckless Ooh, at least one of my dice is rolling high um <laughs> let's see here that is it, it i know it's a hit but math i need to get better at it 23 that, 23 yeah that's hit. a hit <laughs> uh ooh, this one's max uh so this one is 15 so, so in half, half seven. so seven yep okay 
And all of this is slashing with the great axe. Yeah. Okay. Top of the round. Watcher, you are up. Arthas and Hordal. Get ready. Mm hmm. So, just a quick note um, DM, you were right. Bless would have triggered the reaction. I thought so. I thought so. Because I, I, I was about to say, there's certain, like, Kila and Cleric things that work that, like, differently. Yeah. Uh, but I think it is every every spell that you use, he you every can force spell. someone. Yep, okay. Yeah. Um, I just, I thought it would only, like, I only thought I'd use it in healing scenarios, so that's really cool. Uh, that's okay, so anyway, cool. Watcher's gonna r run up and... Let me see what that is. So we got five... 10, 15, 20. Do you want to get in front of Arthas? Uh, I do as long as I can get out of his way, so I'm not. Yeah, 25. Up. We can go diagonal here, so 30. Yeah. We can put you right yeah. on the other okay. side of that boulder. As he's, as Arthas sees Watcher run by him, he goes, The girl! And he just starts looking around. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't think Watcher would say anything to that. Uh, so he is going to um, he's going to shoot a uh, celestial arrow at number four. <clears throat> okay, so bonus action. Go ahead and roll that beautiful uh, bean footage. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen. That's a hit. <clears throat> well, Bless actually made that a hit. So nice. Six damage. Six points of damage. Good hit. And then... Ordal took two hits, right? Mm -hmm. Those two orcs, one major. Yeah, so seeing that, Watcher is going to cast... You also know Hordal's a pretty beefy dude, though. Mm hmm And Hordal, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't appear bloodied or like severely hurt do you i'm a little bloodied okay okay but not but like you can't really tell the difference between my blood their blood <laughs> like it's just rage <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> well in that case he's gonna cast a uh, guiding bolt out of not the spell but out of his um, nice nice abilities on number four as well. number four okay That's twelve. Twelve total. Use your with your D four. With your D four. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. At least describe to us, Watcher, what happens as you cast this. Um, the Watcher shoots the arrow. Uh, loose it, like this arrow appears and it strikes him, and then I don't know. The bow would come down, and he just put his hand forward, and all of a sudden, like the star would appear out of. Um, probably out of the palm of his hand or like this bright light not, not like a star but this really bright orb that gotcha. would be shooting off and there would be a little bit of a trail behind it and it would just kind of probably go over like a comet time. so you see this thing just go yeah. like whoop, unfortunately hits yeah. hits high and misses it does light up the area as it goes all right uh is that the end of your turn watcher at the end of watcher's turn yeah. okay arthas as so you Arthur quickly Street. look over, you see Ophelia just kind of did like almost like a squat. And but yeah. it's it's weird because her dress just kind of like plumes <laughs> when she squats <laughs> down. She so she, is just kind she of appears all right back though. And forth, but whipping back and forth looking like still like okay. freaked out that watcher left her and he just is like Ophelia, come up here. Come up here. And like pointing to like behind the rock like like right here. I said, come, come over here. Okay, all you see her do is just like, no. Yes, come here. All right. You're still talking to her? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to get her up there. <laughs> so she's like, I don't want to come. I don't want to come. Okay. So all I right. will go back and get her. Okay. If she's not, if she's not coming. So that's going to be, that's going to be your turn though. Yeah, that that's I figured. Okay, I'm not just leaving just remember, case. combat is like six seconds. I'll allow you to yep. say something, but if you're trying to have a conversation with someone, 
I'm counting in my yeah. head because that conversation no, yeah, yeah, may yeah. be the turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. So yeah, you get to her and she's crouched down. She seems to like grab a hold of you and she's like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Portal, your go. Okay. Portal is like, Aah! and just swings at four. Uh, and he's going to do it reckless again because he's okay. freaking well, I'll, pissed off. I'll leave your reckless on there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that's better. Uh, I don't even I'll do it for fun anyway. Uh, 22 plus 5, 27 to hit. 27 to hit. That's a hit. Did you say four or two? Uh, I added the four no, 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 from no. my which, blast. Which orc? Which orc? Oh, uh, orc number four, the one on the okay. bottom. The one gotcha. who's already hit. Or gotcha. attempted to be hit. Uh, so that's a hit. So that's my D8. Roll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, seven plus three. 10 plus 2, so 12. That is a death to Orc That's, number 4. It, when Hordal hits number 4, it's just force damage, and you just see like his skeleton basically pop out of his body. <laughs> <laughs> Down he goes. Boom, number 4. As he gets hit with that force damage energy. Hordal. Uh, and, and then... Bonus action. Yeah. Uh, Hordal's gonna grab his hand axe and just take a swing at number two recklessly. Okay. So no modifiers, but still got my reckless. Yep. Fifteen. Uh, fifteen flat plus 15's the D four. Fifteen's a hit. So eighteen. Yeah. Cool. So hand axe <sighs> is D six. I get my rage damage too on this, right? Uh, yes. You just don't yeah, get so, you just don't get your strength modifier added to the damage. Yeah, so it's five plus two, so seven. Seven points of damage. Okay. Oh, you end up hitting him pretty good. He just he just looks up. Is that the end of your turn? That's it. And I grunt back. Ah. <laughs> and with that, you can tell he has a look of despair in his eyes. But seeing everyone else go before him, it's almost like he no longer cares. He takes a swing. Oh, this is definitely a mess. That is, and with <laughs> advantage, because you did reckless, with but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a 12 to hit. 12 will miss. Yeah, I thought so. Joosh. Hits the ground and he just kind of looks up at you and you can tell like pure defeat and he just kind of like stiffens his body. Almost as if he's ready to accept a final blow. Okay. Watcher. Uh, Watcher's going to run up beside. Well, he's going to run up and try to box in number two. Okay, so five box in, get behind five. 10, 15, yeah, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep. Uh, roll a perception check for me on this, Watcher. <laughs> um, seven. Seven. Okay. It's a little hard to tell with uh, the oil flowing through your mechanical body. <laughs> <laughs> but like adrenaline is just going, but you don't see that this orc is like looking up at Hordal with this look of like, finish me. Just resigned. Yep. Okay. Fortunately too low. Um, <clears throat> I probably did this out of order. Uh, he's going to use... Um, Celestial arrow, so it's gonna be disadvantaged because he's close. Correct. Please roll a one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't roll a one. Uh, that will be. Oh wait, no. Di disadvantage yeah. cancels out though because you are flanking. Yeah, because so, yeah, we're flanking. We're flanking. And you get your bless. Yeah. Okay. Well, so the first thing I rolled was a five. Three plus five is. 13 to hit. What the 13 armor? to hit is the armor class. A. I think I may have messed up earlier and did what I did on our very first session. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all dead. Seven damage. 
Seven points of damage. All right, this arrow just goes blasting into his back. He is still up, though. Okay, well, for his action, um, Watcher is going to use a healing word at level one on Ordal. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so with that, his eyes will will turn. Um, purple is his, is his druidic color, so... Well, no, it'll gold is a druid color. So, um, his eyes will, will shine flare gold for a second, and he'll say something in druidic, uh, one word, and he will hear, he'll heal Hordal, uh, six HP. Nice. Uh, but that, Thank you. that gives Hordal the ability to, actually gives me the, the ability to command Hordal to attack. So he'll say attack number two. So Hordal, you can now take your reaction to attack mm-hmm. this orc in front of you. And after getting yep. blasted with the arrow, he just looks up at you. He's bleeding. You see this I weird am... protrusion from his chest and he goes, do it in common. And I'm still reckless. So yes, here you goes. are. Add oh, two. there we go. Add two to the roll, too. Oh, goodness. Add two to it as well? Yeah, uh, that'd be a I... 22. Oh, no. Add three. Sorry. But it, yeah, it's a hit. 23. So, so we stack advantages. Any other advantage you get is a plus three to the roll. Love that, it. It's a hit. That's a hit. All right. Uh, it's with Celeste. So four plus three is seven plus two is nine. Okay. Tell us how you dispatch this soul. So when he looks back up and says, do it, <clears throat> or I'll just take Celeste and goes with his left, with his right hand across with Celeste and hits him in the head. And at the same time, scissors it with the hand no, axe. Geez. So it just severs the head and it bounces the head against the wall. <laughs> Literally just like gone. And Paul Dead. just looks at Watcher and just goes, ah, ah, ah. Oh. <laughs> Watcher would look at him back and be and say, "Be at peace, my friend. They're gone." <laughs> and Ford all just runs forward to see if anybody else is nearby. <laughs> so before, roll, it, roll before a quick his rage uh, goes perception away. check for me. Ooh, uh, that'd be a 23 on perception. <laughs> With this weird power that's going through, you turn and look and your rage going back and forth. It seems like your vision itself is like attuned to even danger around you when you're like desperately searching for something. Uh, but everything seems relatively calm, but like something really makes you angry with two squirrels that appear to be fighting in the distance, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> ah! that, that's a that's a turn. Uh, that is the end of combat. <clears throat> Ophelia so is like holding on talking. to you, Arthas. You gonna come now? Uh, if, if you lead me through, is it okay? Yes, it's safe. We killed them all. Come on. Okay. She just Hunter like starts rage searching. She turns. rage searching bodies. <clears throat> yeah. Here, uh, roll an investigation for me. <laughs> Arthas Ophelia kind of closes her eyes as she's going uh, across these orcs. Huh. Uh, investigation. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Okay. Got like a new roll. Oh, 10 gold pieces on these guys and 10 <clears throat> silver pieces. And they also have uh, fresh meat that appears Ooh. to be venison. So 10 gold, 10 silver, you said? Yep. Cool. And with your we'll perception we'll check, too, you notice that the horses are still there. It doesn't look like anything bad happened to the horses either. When Watcher sees Hordal take the venison out, he'll go into his into his satchel and say, "Oh, rations! Yes, I found I found more provisions for you." And I'll take out the moldy, like undetermined yeah. meat and like hand it to Hordal. And as soon oh. as as soon as you do that, Hordal flies to seem to come out of nowhere, and they're just like, mm. "Uh, thanks." <laughs> and he like looks at it. And I go to put it in my pouch, and I just kind of drop it. 
next to me and step on it slowly. Hopefully, hopefully, Watcher doesn't notice. So as they're doing this, that one. figure that out. Watcher does not see that. Uh, my my sleight of hand was fourteen. Yeah, Watcher does not see you do that. Arthas is just walking out of the cave holding Ophelia. Uh, he's just like, Watcher, you can't leave a little girl in a cave by herself. As well, we had killed everything in the cave, and we had set up a defensive perimeter between ourselves, between the orcs and the, the girl. She was terrified. It was a sound str- strategy. She was terrified. You have to think of her feelings. All right. And with that being said, <laughs> what we will do is we will take a quick break right here, uh, and we will be back here shortly, okay? Fast break. Uh, we plan on only That's going it. to like 10, so fast break, okay? And we will go That's to the good. break No.
Welcome everyone, we're back. Apologize for that little delay. Once again, we're gonna be ending early though, uh, right around 10. So, good job on clearing out uh, this cavern of the orcs. You all see your three steeds there. Ophelia just looks at you, Arthas. Can I, can I open my eyes now? Yeah, you could have opened them back there. I don't know why you closed them. This I don't no like one blood. Told you to close them. I don't like the blood. Oh. Sorry. Lord all looks at himself. I Bad. I burn I burn people. He kills them with the with the sharp stuff. Oh my god. You guys are monsters. No, those no. things on the ground are monsters. We kill monsters. Let's get you home, little one. Yeah. Would you like to ride on? We're going to take horses back. Who do you want to ride with? Who do you feel comfortable riding with, little girl? You. She looks Me? at you, Arthas. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Okay. You guys are back on the horses. Ready to go back. All right. You do remember it took roughly a day to get here, okay? So it is like cresting way towards like nighttime. You guys are a little tired, right? I need to know how you're going to press back towards Fandolin. <clears throat> are you going to take it nice and easy or are you going to try to ride the horses? I say we ride the horses. And do you want to stop and rest anywhere? The horses may uh, have some exhaustion. What do you guys want to do? Push it or take it a take take a rest? I'm good either way. The horses Watch are tired. Um, Fortune. So, what do the horses say? Yeah. So when when Hordal says that. Um, Washer would cast. Uh, oh wait, can I do that? Like... Oh, you may not have a spell slot. <laughs> yeah, so he'll cast Beast Bond. Beast Bond. The horses. Okay. Can you tell mm. us what it does? That's a new one for me. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you establish a telepathic link with one beast you touch that is friendly to you or charmed by you. The spell fails if the beast's intelligence is four or higher. Until the spell ends, the link is active while you and the beast are within line of sight of each other. Through the link, the beast can understand your telepathic messages to it, and it can telepathically communicate simple emotions and concepts back to you. While the link is active, the beast gains advantage on attack rolls against any creature within five feet of you that you can see. Uh -huh. Give Intelligence me. four or higher. Give we me got a those second. Smart horses. <laughs> no, because like some creatures though are pretty intelligent. A horse mm -hmm. intelligence is only two, with a minus four modifier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So which horse are you doing the bond with? Yours? Yeah. Okay. What do you What do you say to the horse? <laughs> uh, so He'll say to the horse, um, I, I know it's late, my friend, but we need to get this girl back to her, to her, um, pack. Do, do you think you and your, you and your friends have the, the stamina to, to ride through the night for us? <laughs> These dumb humans <laughs> talking to me like they can think that they can even hear what I say. <laughs> Well, I, I am not human, but I, I can hear what you say. And I'm not I'm not that dumb. You can hear me? <sighs> yeah, well, I can understand you. I'll be damned. I have to admit, if you can hear me, I must get this out of the way. You are pretty heavy. <laughs> and we did run pretty far out here just to get you here. Now we're carrying one more. Hmm. It will be tough. 
But do you expect to ride us hard the whole time back? Unfortunately, yes, we need to move quickly, but I promise I will make sure they take care of you and rest you when we return. Make a, uh... I will say either make a persuasion check or an animal handling with advantage, because <laughs> you, you can talk to him. <laughs> uh, it's either going to be a 14 or a natural one, so it'll be a 14. <laughs> oh, man, bless, right? Oh, a saving throws or ability checks? Oh, ble bless is not ability checks. It's just a It's just saving throws? throws? Okay. No, nah, I was just making sure. I know one That's is one. Guidance. Can, uh, can I use guidance on myself? Uh, is, it, is it too late to use guidance on myself? I think you can. Can yeah, you can. You, you, you can, can guide, guide yourself. yourself. Yeah, you can yep. guide yourself. <laughs> As this is happening, Arthas goes over to Hordon. This is fascinating. He's not saying yeah. anything, too, because it's green uh, folk. It's all yeah, telepathic. It's telepathic. telepathic. No, I know. I just we're just seeing I, I him like, like... Right, look, looking at the horse like this, and I'm just like, yeah, this, I feel I, like what is going right on? In his face. <laughs> Watcher gets like right in his face and it's like nose to nose with this horse, just like like talking because he doesn't really understand our horse. Yeah. He, he thinks he needs to be close. So yeah, they're just looking at each other. Uh, he's 15 total. <laughs> okay, 15 total. Now that you're like face to face with it, the horse is just like um. <laughs> uh, oh, sir, do you mind uh, stepping back? Um, <laughs> you are a little oh. intimidating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, I think we can press on. Let me talk to the others. And you all hear the horse like... <laughs> and then... You guys all see in unison Hordal and Arthas. It's almost as if the horses do like this weird nod to each other. And the horse yeah. just step puts his like face right towards yours, watcher, and goes, Mur. They'll try to do it. Thank you, my friend. I don't make that request lightly. Okay. Young girl. <clears throat> now, so, uh, watch for the young Did it work? With us. Watcher, did, did uh, what you just did work? I, I'm confused. <laughs> the horses are willing to try to press on for us, but they can't. They can't promise that they won't get too tired too quickly so we'll just have to keep an eye on them but they understand that we need to go back they will do what they can Hordal looks at his horse looks at the venison looks at the horse looks at the venison and goes ah <laughs> puts the venison on the horse and mounts the horse <laughs> okay so I am gonna need, I'm gonna need all of you to roll a d20 with your animal handling. Can I do all guidance right. for everybody? Uh, you can only guide one person, one creature. Okay. And unfortunately, I was like, maybe you could bless them too, but bless is only a minute. Mm -hmm. And it's not. Not yeah. these checks anyway. We're, we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing. Ah, uh, saving throws. Technically, Constitution is really what's going on. So, but I'm letting you guys roll. Ooh. So Twenty one. On Arthas. Watch it will go up and like share a few words about riding horses with Arthas. Okay, it's more his horse than Arthas, but I'm letting you guys determine the fate. Oh, okay. So, but anyway, Arthas, you get to roll a d4. I get to roll a d4 on top of it? Yep. Okay, let's see how much that helps. Uh, my total is a four. Your total nice. is a four? Okay. A two <laughs> plus a one, and then plus a one. Okay. Wow. Watcher, what did you roll? Yeah, my total is a five. Your total is a five. Oh, man, guys. <laughs> okay, Welcome to so... Hordal. <laughs> 
I, for instance, on mine, yeah, my guy's yeah, doing great. Back. You must have I rolled like, a twenty-one. You must have like the Clydesdale of horses to carry your weight. <laughs> but regardless, <laughs> Watcher and Arthas, your horses are tanked. Tanked. Okay. <laughs> like very tired and horde all. I know we're 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 going a little bit long distance here. Um, their speed has slowed down. And your horses, like, horde all your horses kind of like energetic or, or something, but the rest of you guys, your horses are definitely slowing down. And look tired. Your horse watcher gives you this look like. Not happening. <laughs> um, I you think can, you can still talk to me. You can. How, how long is it? Oh, it's, it's only 10 minutes. Never mind. Yeah, I was about Sorry, to say. It's only 10 minutes. Okay. He gives Watch you. What are they saying? Up. You uh, guys uh, can uh, continue to push if you want. Hoard all your horses slow to their scale. Why are we? Why are we slowing? Why? I'm not See, the horses. The horses are. The horses are too tired. They're. They're trying their best, but they can't. They can't keep going at this point. Mine's not. Them. Well, Arthur's horse and mine are too exhausted. Nah. So if you Where think you can take the girl back yourself, you, that's an option. But better safe in numbers. So we are we gonna rest now? We gonna rest? Find a camp. Find a spot to camp. Hey, at okay. least we got some venison. Come on, just a quick uh, survivor or nature check with advantage from one of you. Uh, I can go if you guys want. Uh, or you got a yep. watcher. Yeah, or watcher. Go ahead, watcher. Nah, uh, Arthas. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, okay, 18. 18, okay. Watcher, you find this nice spot. Nice concealment and everything. Will allow people to, to rest just fine. Okay. Alright. Uh, just a quick... I need all of you it's fine we'll we'll rest here but i just need the three of you to roll a d20 and then i'm gonna average it out jesus i got a six natural 20. i got a i got a five change dice right. uh <laughs> help me on math 20 25 31 31 divide yeah that's enough okay Five was the number to beat. You guys almost didn't beat it coming out here. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are good. You guys pick up. You are rested. Fully yeah. rested? Long rest? Yep. Long rest. So you guys get Ooh. everything back. Cross off a day's worth rations. Okay. Uh, can we use the venison hey, can that we, we use just the got venison? instead? Yep. Yep. You can use the venison. Cool. So cross off the venison. Yep. Bye-bye. And then what we will do is you guys end up spending the travel. You guys can go fast paced now. And you guys come back to a town that is known as Fandolin. We made it. <laughs> I guess we should probably go bring, go right to the mayor. Straight to the, the town Philia. master. Yeah. Harvin. Oh, master, yeah. Harvin. All right, you guys come back in. You see Barthen's provisions there. Uh, and you see Sildar is actually over at Barthen's provisions. And he just looks at you and he's like, Oh, thank God you made it. Oh, and with someone Mis in tow. Mission accomplished. Where's you the didn't town think master? we'd make it? Well, I didn't quite know the time, but with the information that we were given about the orcs encampment, it doesn't... We were lacking details, but how many were there? Eh, maybe like 10 orcs. Ogre. <laughs> An ogre? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. Smelly I'll bastard. Be. I Dead. will be. All right, Barthen will take the horses here. Follow me. I... I'm pretty sure one person would be very excited to see this young individual. And he just kind of smiles out of Ophelia. Who just smiles Arthen, back? Keep, I'll keep Arthen, Ophelia save next this to one me for me. 
Well, Good job, Arthas. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying as we, I thought we were going to walk this. I was going to keep Ophelia mm-hmm. close to me. Yeah, you guys are walking. It's no issues. Uh, Save this horse, horse for me, Barthas. Will do. Well, I mean, we dr- can't really make any uh, any promises on that. Whoever's got the coin can really take them, but it looks like these guys need need a little rest. And Watcher, you notice one of the horses nods at you. Your horse. Gives you a nod and what appears to almost be like a little bow. Watcher will go up and stroke the horse's head and, um, and ask, how much, ask the attendant, how much to, to feed and water the horses for the day? Yeah. The other guy looks at uh, you and goes, look, you're still trying to do our job here? It's okay. We'll take care of it. But <laughs> it was enough with to having us try to get the oxen out from the farmlands. It's okay. We got it. If you want to tip me, though, I'll, I'll gladly take the tip. Watcher just the, give him two just the tip. And say the, watch him in two gold pieces and say they, they need rest. You need you need to give them ah, a chance well, to recover. That's what we'll do. We'll even give them some hay and stuff. All right. Thank you kindly, sir. Thing. I don't know what to call you. But thank you. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> You all end up traveling with Ophelia. Ophelia seems excited. She's like staring at everything. You get the impression that this is Ophelia's first time coming into uh, Fandolin. Yeah, I was. In, Ar- Arthas was going to ask her that as we're walking. Like, have you been here before? No, I haven't at all. This is okay. my first time. I love new places, except this one doesn't seem as um as built up. But you know, it's it's looks like. The farmland, you know. When when was the last time you saw your stepfather? I'm just curious. Oh well, it it's been a long time. Um, I think I was like, I think my mom told me I was six years old the last time I saw him. So, oh, I I just there's all these questions just popped into my mind as we were walking over here, and I'm just like, wh- why were you coming down here? Oh, well, something happened to my mom, and then my aunt was taking care of me. And then my aunt said that my dad was better off, so I should go live with my dad. And then he wrote a letter to come to Fandolin, so here I am. Okay. Where where were you before? Oh, I was further out to the east. She rattles off a place. I'll have to give it to you later. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm just kind of making mental... Arthas is making mental notes of that. I just still curious. You, what the you also make master. a mental note that like Harbin seems to be like a gluttonous idiot. Uh, yeah. Like, th- there is a possibility, you know, that, like, even Harbin didn't even know about Ophelia. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds Until good. later on in life. <laughs> All right. All right. Sildar just looks at you and goes, well, let's make this one short. I've been trying to take over most of uh, the responsibilities here in this town as the member of the Lord's Alliance. Doesn't seem like Harbin's got much of a head on his shoulder, but hopefully this will put him at rest. I was talking to some of the other townspeople, and it seems like there's another individual uh, that has gone missing. Uh, they they called him the Woodworker, and I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, Barthen's wife actually told me what his name was. Oh, is that that guy? And we heard about him. Yeah, they also yeah. said that Didn't his wife his and son. Wife and son oh, well, I hope not killed, but I heard that they are missing as well. There's rumors that it's a group. Uh, it's that group that we've been warned about, but oh, 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 fun times. I haven't quite been able to track them down. 
Doesn't seem like Harbin cares too much about them, just calls them a mercenary group, but I have a funny feeling that it's very different. Ah, that's right, Thel. Thel is his name. T-H-E-L. A weird name, but... Thel the Woodworker. So that means we have three missing in this town. I hate to say it, but that seems to be quite a coincidence. Hmm. Well, let's settle up with the town master, get Ophelia this task done, and move on to the next. Sounds Aye. like a plan. <laughs> As you guys go in, Ophelia seems like, oh! And then Harbin is like, Ophelia? Kind of gives her a look, and she goes, Daddy! And goes running. <laughs> And he kind of hugs her. Uh, there seems to be some crying back and forth. Sildar kind of gives you, like, the weird eye. Uh, Harbin just seems a little, like, excited that Ophelia is here. And he just looks at you. <sighs> what about the uh, the orcs? Are they taken care of? Dead. I... I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. I, I did promise you payment, though. I promised you payment, and I'm a man of my word. That's 100 gold pieces for each of you, if I remember correctly, or was it 75? 100. 150. How are you saying that, Ordal? <laughs> uh, I am attempting to intimidate. You are attempting to intimidate. OK, mm -hmm. roll an intimidation check. Oh, wow. Uh, roll the 14, but I have a minus one, so 13. It's okay. I a rolled minus a one on intimidation with all the Intim shit on you? Intimidation <laughs> is charisma-based, not oh, strength. You, yeah. you, you can use your strength. Sorry. Sorry. You oh. can use your strength for this. Oh, well, then it would be a 17. It, it, it all depends <laughs> on the way you're saying it. I'm assuming, like, mm -hmm. you're buffing up. Yeah. Yeah. Jang jangling all my accoutrement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we will play the crit roll way when it comes to intimidation for certain characters based off of the way that they are. Um, Appreciate it. So you're 17 welcome. then. It definitely beats what I rolled. And he's like, oh, oh, okay, I remember it being in 100, but to be fair, 150 is okay. Let me just go back. Hold on. Hold on. He definitely... He definitely agreed to a hundred. Watch her, watch her. Come here. There's animals off this window. Watch her. You were too look. busy watching the oxen. We yeah, talked about it after you left. It's fine. There's, well, there's animals well, out well, there. Look, uh, that hang on. Hang on. To be fair, if he wants a hundred, I can give him a hundred. If, if if you guys did more of the work, then technically you should get compensated more. I I, I can easily Pardon. give him a hundred. Or I'll pick some orc flesh from Celeste that okay. he forgot to clean okay. off. Okay. Oh. okay. 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 He drops it. Okay. 150 each. I got it. Let me let me go into the back. Come here, Ophelia. <laughs> it just brings Ophelia yeah, into the back. Sildar sitting there and he just goes, man, that man. His priorities seem to be all over the place and I don't know. Seems to be more focused on what the town brings in for money and trying to keep it safe. Did the orcs seem like they were well managed, or...? Ah, they had order. They had one leader, uh, limp by the name of Ruger Axebiter. Mean anything to you? Ruger Axebiter. Ah, uh, I can't quite place that name. Did he have anything on him? Perhaps to say I, uh, what type of did he had a medallion from the many arrows tribe the many the arrows tribe, tribe. Well, that seems odd why would the many arrows tribe be out here they're further off to the east the little one told us about a green dragon or some type of wyvern a green dragon that the orcs protected her from it, saved her, and then forced her to help them write the letter for ransom. But she wasn't torn. She wasn't beaten. 
Could she you has do a pretty me, pink dress. Could you do me a favor? Let's keep the talks of the dragon between us. I don't I, need Harbor and freaking out about a dragon. But a green who freaks out over anything. Dragon. There's a green drag a young green dragon by the name of Venom Fang. I've heard tales of him. He's still he's still young and from what I know, he doesn't seem to do that much favor with all the other dragons. Uh, which could be an issue if that green dragon is here. If he's trying to carve out his name, that could be an issue with Cryovan, the white dragon. But we haven't seen Cryovan in quite some time. I fear if this green dragon comes into this area, then maybe Cryovan may come out to defend his territory. Who knows if Cryovan's still here, but Venom Fang himself is a young one, but still the form of little dragon itself, as all dragons are. We will keep a watch out, but it's best that we keep this between us. News of a dragon Sounds would not good. do well. Fandolin's already in shambles, and Harbin may send you off to fight a dragon. That sounds like fun. Well, that's that one be... more thing to add to our list. <laughs> that but yet, that's not Arthas. an issue yet. Any it's signs not, of... Just said... Any signs of Gundren or... Perhaps no. his brothers? No. 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 Damn. I think we need to maybe find some other missing people to go down that rabbit hole. I I think Woodcarver's next. You think this guy's making the coin in the back? Uh, he's taking quite a while. Well, to be honest, Harbin's trying to probably find a way to cheat you out of some gold, but I'll make sure that you get your gold pieces regardless. 150. Portal smiles. Yeah. Well, you all look tired. I was thinking the same thing. I was also wondering, too, with Harbin gone, or at least Kaunin, have you guys found any headway into these red brands? I know Just you've been going for some while. They hang out at the Sleeping Giant. I've heard that rumor too. Seems like they must have a base somewhere around, but I've yet quite to figure it out. But perhaps some interrogation could occur at the Sleeping Giant if you three are up to it, nonetheless. Oh. And oh, consider, I'm just waiting. Consider this a mission from the Lord's Alliance. Harbin doesn't need to know about this. I just like the dragon. Just like the dragon. <laughs> I'll solidify myself more here. Maybe I can push Harbin out, or at least get someone more competent. Perhaps if <laughs> we find a way of eliminating the red brands, we could get a better reputation around here, nonetheless. I say we start flaunting what we got. He gives us our money, we have them come to us. Oh, that sounds good. Well, that's... I can I can make a scene if you want, Ordal. Oh. Well, it seems like we got a plan in motion. You hear a motion in the back. Harbin comes out. Okay, so I got 150 gold pieces per person. Here's 150 for you. Hands it to you, Hordal. 150 for you, even though you wanted 100, but you know, the dwarf insisted. And 150 for you, sir. Hordal is counting it right in front of him. Thank you. Okay, well, to be, mine. To be I'm fair, counting mine. To be fair, I didn't really count it. it. It was some of my workers, but nonetheless, I I've got to catch up with my daughter here and show her around. And apparently, we need to go shopping because she doesn't have any clothes. And 150 gold pieces would have helped in that scenario. But I'll make do. I'll make do. You just see Ophelia. She's like, bye. Bye, Ophelia. If you need anything from us. Or if he doesn't treat you the way you should be treated, you come let us know. Uh, do a... <laughs> how, how are you presenting that? Uh, kind of in a happy tone. But okay. Like, 
Okay. Like in a way to, to, to make the headmaster be like, oh shit, these people mean business, but not to scare her. Okay, just roll a you quick. Per- I mean? Yeah, roll, roll a quick persuasion. Persuasion, so it's eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. I'm gonna treat her just fine. I I, I swear. I swear. I'm gonna treat her just fine. Just like bye. Okay. <laughs> Where it all just stands there and finishes counting. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Sildar just nods at you uh, three guys and just goes about uh, fiddling with some paper. So, what do you guys want to do? You want to you want to make a scene? Oh come on! I'm still counting. Oh God! Here now I gotta go. start oh, over. Would you like help? Can you count quick? Oh, I yes, can't here. Count. Give me. But, 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 I can help. The count is accurate. I kicked out. <laughs> the count is accurate. I was just, I was just so waiting to click count. add. I was just waiting to click add. Yeah. <laughs> the count is accurate. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I thought no, you were you're just RP in your character, but <laughs> count's accurate. A little bit of both. Of how you put it. A little bit of both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With that being said, gentlemen, it is getting roughly towards the night again. Where would you like to go? So what do you want to do? Do you want to make a scene? I think we check out the woodworkers first. If everyone disappeared from there, maybe there's... Maybe it was turned over. Maybe there was evidence left. Then I say we go boast and make a scene. I'm ready to do that. I have some tricks up my sleeves. I agree. All right, to the woodworkers then. Okay. As you go to the woodworker straight uh, across from Lion Shield Coster, uh, you notice that Lenine is uh, standing outside. Looks like she's closing up shop. Uh, she was the owner of the Lion Shield uh, Coster. Hey, we actually found that um, that cave that well, with the goblins and the stock plies. I mean, it, there really wasn't much left. Most of it was soiled, but can't thank you enough because we were able to take what was left and actually bring it back up so it seems like most of the uh the, the path is cleared so thank you what we do that's what Greatly. we do uh what are you uh doing looking at this building this is Thel's house i heard he hasn't been around no Thel apparently got into some trouble with the um that group red brands yeah mm. I just can't say it out loud. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on it for him. Doesn't seem to be much traffic going in and out, but... Have you been in it? Uh, I snuck in right once I heard the rumors. Has anyone else been in it since he's gone missing? No. I've been keeping an eye, hoping that, you know, his wife will come back. Can we go in it? Um, if if you want, I mean, let me let me accompany you though. There's not much in there, but she ends up like bringing you into the shop, and the door opens. It's not barred. It's not locked. It's not anything. Um, you can tell that there is a locking device on the inside. Uh, the door doesn't appear to be busted, right? And everything appears to be in place. You notice uh, the woodworker, he does have a shop out in the back too that has like all these uh, wood shavings all thrown about. He's got a whole bunch of like wooden toy uh, carvings that he's done. But uh, roll an investigation. Uh, all of you can. It's not me. I, uh, I got a three. You got a three? Yeah. investigation yeah uh 11 11 okay as you're going about like it's either the incident or whatever happened didn't happen in the house or it could have been someone that was invited in you know what i mean someone that they wouldn't have uh, uh, like suspected there's no cause of alarm no tussle within the house so it, mm-hmm. it does seem it does seem weird. It's either the event didn't occur in the house or whoever did it could have been someone that they knew. I feel like I'm running. I don't know. Uh, sure would. 
I'm running like 24 hours or 48 hours here. <laughs> Watcher would also step away and start a ritual. He wants to ritual cast detect magic. Detect magic. Okay. While well, well, he's in the house. Yeah. So 10, 10 minutes? 10 minutes, yeah. Okay. Ardo, what's he doing? There's no animals in here. I mean, give him a second. He's one of those green folk. Even the one green folk. Down. Yep. Sits down, maybe put some salt around him, burn some <laughs> incense, um, says some things in druidic, and chants for a while. And then he stands up, and his eyes are are black, but now you see little pinpoints of light in the eyes. So okay. he's, he's seeing things differently that way. And it's almost like, I will say it's almost like another, like Daredevil, you know how Daredevil can kind of like see. <laughs> you get this, mm-hmm. you just feel the sense of energy go out you from your body in Hordal you get this weird it's almost like the hairs on your arm go up Mm -hmm. and you sense that magic was just casted right but it feels weird to you because typically you don't sense it Mm -hmm. but now you got this weird you like know that someone just definitely casted magic Mm, right in uh, Watcher as you do that, you're looking around. There is no magical items, no locks, no nothing, nothing to cover anything up. Nothing's pinging on your radar at all. It just goes through and everything appears normal. Or else just rubbing his arms. Weird sensation, Hordal, but you... It's almost like you know that someone just cast a spell. But you've never known that before. Ugh. All set. I don't see anything in here. Yeah, for the most part, all this stuff is is still good. Um, Mm. You know, like uh, once again, I mean, I'm looking over the place. So when they come back, everything will be good. uh, I guess minus the salt that you put on the floor, but I don't think they're gonna mind about that. Are you trying to find them? I. Well, we brought the concerns up to Harbin, but he didn't seem to care that much. Yeah, he's a special guy. Yeah. Uh, no need to tell us. We're well aware. <laughs> All right. Well, is that it here? Bye. All right. Well, come on out with All me right. just in case anyone asks any questions. And you know, Don't forget to things. lock up. Ah, it's not a door that can be locked from the outside. It's more of like you go in. It seems like a relatively it's not as built up like the town master's hall. Yeah. Like this is just like one of those simple quick latch on the inside. Alright, where to next? Time to make a ruckus, Arthas. Well, you see, get a very big grin. Go to the inn and flaunt our earnings. The inn? I say and we. see if, if anyone's there, or do you want to go to, straight to the sleeping giant? I say we walk by the giant and talk real loud. Okay. Let's go. Watcher, are you in agreement? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So our adventurers are heading towards the sleeping giant where the red brands have been known to hang out. And what we will do, it is it is 10. So we will end the session there and pick up at the sleeping giant. All right. So well done on fighting the orcs, not the bugbears, but the orcs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And we will see what the sleeping giant waits. Thank you so much for everyone who came to watch and participate. Thank you for participating in the quiz, Kangaroo, Hazimus, Spade, and then we also had RJ in there. Uh, we greatly appreciate you guys stopping by. Fantastic, as always. Round of applause to our players, Ford All, Watcher, and Arthas. Can't thank applause you guys for our enough. DM as well. Our amazing DM. A little applause for him, sir. 
who was off, well off his game. But <laughs> nonetheless, what are you talking about you were a nice little girl tonight. Yeah, I know, and I didn't expect to be, True. and I didn't expect to be a horse. But that's what happens <laughs> when you have people who have talked with animals. DMs have to <laughs> improvise. Uh, right. <laughs> but I can't thank you guys enough, and it's gonna be New Year's, so go out, celebrate, and happy holidays to those two, since uh, we missed you there. But hopefully, the New Year will be better, and we hope that you all have fun celebrating it and staying safe out there. Okay. So until well, next time, everybody. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Take care. Bye. Thanks. Mm. Mm.